Hello and welcome to weekly vlog number eight. So basically today is now Monday, the first day of the week. It feels like a Tuesday because me and Tommy actually went into work yesterday, so on Sunday, because our like manager or boss or whatever texted us both on Saturday and asked if we wanted to go in yesterday and we said yes because it's extra money. Um, and I've also been to work today, it's now the evening, I'm just cooking myself some food. And I also did a little bit of overtime this afternoon as well. So my feet kill because the job that I do requires being stood up all day, literally all day, apart from when I have my little breaks um, at work. But yeah, um, so my heels hurt, but I'm back now. And my parents have actually gone away for a few days to London to visit some family members. So me and Tommy are left by ourselves. Um, so the kitchen has never been this tidy. Um, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, I am just cooking. I'm reheating this kind of sauce that I made the other day or last week and it's basically got like corn in it and vegetables. It's like a kind of pasta -y bolognese sauce. And then here is my pasta cooking and got some cheese in here. And then for the first time ever, or maybe the second time, I'm gonna eat in the dining room by myself. I thought, you know what? Might as well utilize the rooms. So I'm gonna sit there, I'm gonna watch a park and recreation on Netflix. And um, yeah, it's getting dark. Tommy is still at work. He is combining at the minute. So um, combining a barley field. So that means that he's gonna be back later on. He'll probably be back about half past eight um, in the evening, obviously. Um, it's not going to do an all nighter, but yeah. So that is today. And there's probably not gonna be much else for me to film today, as there never is really, but yeah. Um, it, I've had a busy day yesterday and a very busy day today. So I need a rest and I need a shower. Today is now Tuesday, although it feels like Wednesday. Tommy's getting ready to go and cycle into work and I'm having some toast and um, I'm gonna edit this video so far, which is literally gonna be like one minute long. Um, but I like to kind of edit every single day, the day after I filmed it. Um, but yeah, hopefully won't do any overtime today because I'm just too tired. Um, but yeah, see you later. Right, I am now back from work and I didn't do any overtime. Actually, no, that's a lie. I did do a little bit of overtime this evening, um, just a little bit. We went to the field this afternoon to pull out some plants from the field and we were there a few hours and honestly like the weather today is was literally absolutely boiling and when you're in a field and there's no shade whatsoever in direct sunlight pulling out plants from the ground and obviously it's like exercise as well as you know the heat and everything it's just not not good um, so yeah anyway i i'm back home now i've had some food i had a nice cold drink and i'm gonna run a bath very shortly tuesday is bath night if you watch my weekly vlogs you'll know that and yeah it's been a busy day i feel like my weekly vlogs at the minute are just me every single day just sat saying i'm off to work i'm back from work i'm off to work i'm back from work but genuinely that's all I'm doing. <laughs> um, so yes, but... My name is Lucas and I have too many eyeballs. Does anybody else think that one side of your face looks completely different to the other? Like, look at this. Like, don't you think that just looks completely different? Like, my eyes. Like, that one's small, probably because I've been pulling it like this, actually. <laughs> anyway, I'm rambling because... I don't know. Tommy must be doing overtime again tonight because he's not here. He is at work still. Well, he's not come back anyway, um, so yeah. He must be still working and combining. Um, but yeah, it's extra money. So, the pond. 
Okay, I have had my bath and now I'm gonna sit down in the conservatory where I am right now. I was gonna say the greenhouse. This is not the greenhouse, um, that would be weird. Um, but yeah, I'm sitting in the conservatory for a little bit whilst I drink my cup of tea and I'm gonna watch some YouTube. Then I'm gonna wash up because I need to do that. Um, there, is a dish there is a dishwasher, but I don't like dishwashers. Um, and I don't mind washing up, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm going to do my skincare. Um, I did a face mask in the bath and a liquid peel, um, like solution thing from the ordinary. Um, and then I'm, yeah, going to do my skincare and then I'm going to go into my room, maybe watch some more YouTube and then go to sleep about 10 o'clock-ish. Um, ready for work tomorrow. I cannot believe it's only Tuesday. It literally feels so late in the week. It's Wednesday now. Tommy's making his lunch for the day because he didn't do it last night because he got back late. I did 13, no, four hours yesterday. Come on in. What? Right, um, so about that, um, I'm gonna edit this video really quickly. If I have time. Actually, I don't think I have time. Um, but anyway, good morning. What, the blue one? Yeah. In that drawer that's like underneath the hob, bottom of the left. Um, there's, there was two squirrels outside sat next to each other. There's one just now here, but, but the other one ran off as soon as I picked my camera up. Oh no, he's still there, but you probably can't see him on the camera. Hello, I can't remember if I said it was Wednesday or not, but today is Wednesday. Oh, sorry, my Netflix started playing. Um, we, me and Tommy ordered a takeaway and it's taken like two hours to get here, but it's here now. Um, I ordered a Hawaiian pizza, which is chilling just there. And then I also got a pot of barbecue sauce so I can dip my crust into it. Just saying. Here we are. Gonna watch Parks and Recreation. I was about to wash up and then I thought, do you know what? I'm so tired right now. Like, I don't know if it's work or getting up early or doing overtime every day pretty much apart from today or what. But I'm just so ridiculously tired and it's only eight o'clock. So yeah, I was gonna do the washing up and then go and have a shower and then watch YouTube. Like, like that's my normal sort of routine, but I'm really tired. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to sleep, um, which is hilarious because usually, well, it's not hilarious, but usually um, on a weekend or on a day when I, like before I started working, um, where I'm working now and I didn't have a job, I would be doing workouts at 11 p.m. Like, do you know what I mean? Obviously I'll be getting up a lot later, but sometimes I would do a workout at like 10, 11. Um, and now the thought of even, you know, having a shower right now or washing up is making me feel like I just want to give up. So I'm going to go to bed and I'm going to get up early. I'm going to have a shower in the morning and I'm going to do the washing up at some later time, hopefully before my parents come back from London. I just look like an egg. Hello. Somebody once said to me that my brother looks like me, but without makeup on. And I was like, so basically you're saying that when I don't have makeup on, I am the exact image of my brother. Please tell me that's not true. And I've got some spots on my face as well. <sighs> Good night. Okay, so, oh, <laughs> I was like, what is that? It's a, a mirror. Right, so today is now Thursday and I have literally, um, like it is literally the morning. I've had a shower. I woke up at six. Um, it's raining outside. This is currently my view. 
great and i thought that in this weekly vlog i would show you my like everyday work makeup and sort of semi explain why i use what products i use and i'm going to try and be quick because i've not got much storage on my phone but i first of all st well actually first of all i've got a little bit of moisturizer on and a little bit of spf always wear spf every single day um, but I'm going to use to prime the Body Shop Insta Blur Primer and basically I use this on work days because it's like a pore filling primer and like mattifies my skin which is what I want because I want my makeup to last longer. I've got oily skin and as the day goes along because it is quite a long day um, my skin will just get oilier and oilier so I like to use a pore filling primer. Then for my foundation, I use the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation. I recently just got back into using this. I haven't actually used it in a few months. Take about that much, by the way. And I've been using the Wet Wild Photo Focus foundation, which is this one. And yeah, this one is absolutely like a full coverage foundation. It's like a high street um, full coverage foundation. And I literally like as soon as i used this again the other day after not using it for like months i was literally like oh my god like i i remember why i loved this foundation so much and like why i always said like it was my favorite um so yeah i love that by the way if you're wondering i wear makeup to work because i enjoy doing my makeup and also because you know why not i don't see why you know you shouldn't have be able to wear makeup to work I don't, you know, use tons and tons and, you know, I enjoy doing my makeup, so there. <laughs> but yeah, can you see, like, that's such nice coverage for, like, such a small amount of product? Well, not an amazingly small amount, but do you know what I mean? Like, I haven't had to use tons to get, like, full coverage. And I find that it's not too cakey, but if you put too much on, it can be. So what I'd recommend is putting a little bit on and then if you think that you need a little bit more coverage in specific areas to like layer up on that specific area rather than just layering all over. Right, and then for concealer, I am gonna use this one from e.l.f. I'm not entirely sure what the exact name is, but the shade is Fair Warm. It is quite a pale shade. I just pop it underneath my eyes if I'm not at work, I would kind of pop it all around my face and have a little bit more coverage. But what I do is I take my beauty blender and I just kind of dab that around the areas where I want it with that product, um, if you know what I mean. Um, and then I kind of go back over and blend it in. I use concealer to brighten my face rather than to kind of, you know, cover blemishes and things like that. And I do tend to find that when my makeup like wears away throughout the day, it's like the areas where I've used concealer, especially like my eye area, that remains in place. And I think it's because I set my makeup quite well as well um, under my eyes. Oh, sorry. Um, now I'm going to set everything in place and I'm going to use the W7 Sheer Loose Powder. I don't usually like loose powders for many reasons. For example, you know, they're quite messy. Um, also, I find it more of a struggle to get the right shade and they can look kind of cakey and um, can be quite, you know, drying. <laughs> so, yeah, I only purchased this because there was no powders when I went to B&M and I was desperate for like powder like there was no pressed powders but yeah i dab this on it is a little bit darker than my actual like foundation but that's okay you know it's only a tad darker and then i do just take a little bit of extra powder under my eyes just to keep them in place which is most probably why my under eyes tend to last the longest right my face is now powdered this is important because like I said my oily skin then I'm gonna take this brush now if I'm not at work then I would use several different brush brushes for the different products but to be quick because I want to be quick at work I use one brush with several products so I'm gonna use this contour shade from this sleek contouring palette which is very old and I'm just gonna pop a little bit of product around my face you'll notice that I always tap off the excess and like this um just so that it's not like too pigmented because again i am at work and i'm just going to take this little brush actually and i take a little bit i pop it underneath here 
just to kind of define my lips a little bit more and then down my nose to kind of contour my nose ever so slightly. This is a step that I actually um, don't miss out on um, even when I'm being quick because it does actually make a difference. You might not be able to 100% tell the difference too much on camera but it just makes a difference to me. So I do it. Then I'm going to use my collection bronzer um, which is matte and I really like this one actually it's quite nice now when I'm at work I do like to use bronzer but not too much so I don't want to be like too heavy I think a few days I have you know maybe put a little bit too much on but who cares one of my managers complimented me on my eyeshadow as well um one day so I was like thank you very much um but yeah I do just kind of take a little bit on my chin bit on my nose and then just make sure that it's all kind of blended and then with the same brush I'm going to take the um it's the coral blusher from Beauty Bay which I really like this shade you don't need too much of it to get like a nice color it looks like quite a dark color in here but you can obviously you know oh my god look how dark that looks on the camera it's not that dark in real life it's just the light yeah um but yeah so take a bit of that on my cheeks. Blusher does tend to fade away throughout the day as well. So I do just apply a tad more. Um, and then I am now going to take a different brush and I'm going to highlight. This is my Technique highlighter. And you get a lot of product for your money. It's literally £2.50 or something. I'm just going to pop that up my cheekbones. You might be wondering um, why or how do I have so much time to do my, my makeup in the morning? Um, I make time to do it and it doesn't take me that long. It takes me like 10, 15 minutes maybe. Um, I just enjoy doing it and yeah, I just make time for it basically. I have a coffee in the morning and I'm not tired so I might as well do my makeup. I enjoy um, mornings more than evenings. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I actually take this brush here, which we haven't used, and it's specifically for me to kind of blend everything together. I want it to look um, not too, like, kind of powdery. I'd like everything to sort of blend together nicely, so just quickly do that. Um, now I'm going to move on to my brows. So I've got this pencil, which is from e.l.f. It's the Instant Brow no instant lift brow pencil and mine is in the shade I'm not too sure what shade mine's in but that's what it looks like and I take the spoolie and I just kind of pull that through my brows and then kind of bring the hairs up a little bit and it just adds a little bit more volume to your eyebrows and I want all of the hairs to be like in the same like going the same way and then I don't actually use this yet the other end that's in the pencil I take an angled brush like this one and I go into my Morphe palette and I just take an, a few eyeshadows and mix them together um, because I find that the um, eyebrow pencil is a little bit too dark so I pull that through my brows like this I think Tommy's just woken up and then I kind of bring that through the front of my eyebrow don't want too much colour and then on the other side time to make some wig oh <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to blur that out that's hilarious <laughs> uh, I'm videoing thank you right now he's gone um so do the same on this side and then once i'm sort of happy with that i'm not you know too specific i'm then going to take this pencil and i use this to fill in the end of my eyebrows so like the tail part and then i just kind of take that line a little bit underneath my eyebrow just to kind of give it a little bit more shape and then the other side if I didn't wear makeup at work, the only thing I would do is probably powder and do my eyebrows. 
if I didn't wear makeup, I wouldn't be able to do my skincare because my face would just be an absolute, like, absolute oily mess. Um, makeup does kind of really help with the oils. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna do some eyeshadow, but only just something simple, because like I said, I am at work. I do do, like, more eyeshadow some days than others, but I'm literally gonna go into this Little Mix palette, and I'm just gonna take this shade here, I'm just gonna dab my brush in and then I'm just gonna pop that over my lid and it's just a really subtle color. Like nothing too dark. I just like to have a little bit of color on my lids. And then I'm gonna also pop that underneath with an angled brush, just slightly on the lower left line. Brush away any potential fallout. Now I'm gonna kind of set my makeup in place with the setting spray. This is the A Plus Primer Spray. I got it from Shop Miss A. And I just set my makeup in place. I feel like it makes the skin look less powdery when you use a setting spray, um, if that's like the look you're going for. Right, I've only got like a minute left on my camera, so I'm gonna have to hurry. I've got this like eyelash primer, which is from um, AOA and I'm just gonna pop a little bit onto my eyelashes and kind of let that like set a little bit whilst I do my lips. So, remove product. Now this is gonna be a little bit weird, but I've got a contour stick and I actually use this as a lip liner. So I take um, a, the other side of this brush and I just dab a tiny bit on and I use it as a lip liner. I really like brown lip liners. I never seem to find the right shade. I tried this one day and I was like, oh my God, I actually really like that. So, yeah. Then, it might look a bit weird, but I blend it all in after. I use this, which I think is from Rimmel, but everything's rubbed off of it, I'm not sure. It's just a pale matte lip shade. And I also take a little bit of this from the Body Shop, which is another lip product. I'm trying to be quick. Ah. And then I blend all that in. I then use this mascara, also from AOA Studios, and I just do a little bit of mascara off camera. Tommy's singing downstairs. So this is the finished look of my makeup. I would say this is natural for me, but obviously natural is different for everybody. Um, but I like to kind of keep it quite simple. But yeah, um, this is my everyday makeup for work, pretty much. The only thing that varies is my eyeshadow. So it's now a few days later, and I thought that I would show you a few things that I got from the body shop. I haven't filmed over the weekend because I was busy, but I did receive a few things from the body shop that I purchased including the new pumpkin mask, which I am gonna do an entire video on. So I'll just sit you down here, maybe, get the toilet out of the way. Um, but yeah, the first thing that I got was this, which I've had before. This is the Body Shop Vitamin E Cream Cleanser, and I've had this before, and what I like about this is that it makes my skin really soft and moisturised and it's the kind of like facial wash that does make your skin feel like it is super soft before you put your makeup on or when you go to bed so I really like that. I also picked up which I haven't used before this which is the pear bath blend it said it's a hydrating bath foam and obviously it's pear scented and yeah it does smell nice I wouldn't 100% say it it smell it doesn't smell 100% of pears but it does have like a little bit of a scent of pears um but then what do pears smell like do you know what i mean um so i've got this because i currently have the mango one which is nearly run out and i really like it the smell when you run your bath it's very like pungent so like you can you know smell it and it creates really nice bubbles and a really nice color so i thought i'm going to try this one now when this when this one runs out then I also got a little fragrance because I'm running low on my other fragrance from the body shop which is the lime and match one. Wanted to pick up the mango one but it wasn't um, available. 
it wasn't um, in stock at that point in time so this is the one that I got the Satsuma one um, which is actually smells really nice I was kind of worried about this because I thought it could potentially smell like toilets because a lot of like cleaning products in public toilets especially um, include like orange scented things but it actually smells really nice so I'm glad I got that so yeah that is something I also got and um last all right, I was about to say my camera cut off. I'm very sorry, it's gonna cut off again. But I also got the pumpkin face mask review video coming next week, or review video coming, the video after this one. Stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, a full review of that. Literally, I ordered it on the day it was released. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching this weekly vlog, and I will see you in my next video, which is the review of the pumpkin mask. Goodbye.